everybody Ann here sitting here in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all you just let the chickens out um I forgot to film letting them out I know many of you like to see that and they're so cute I've already got three leghorn eggs and I think it's about mm, 9 a.m. so hopefully the other two will lay Miss Pris Fancy Pants is still sitting on the nest it is day nine you guys day nine Yesterday I candled the eggs. I brought my camera in and I tried so hard to be able to film it, but nothing came out. And I think, I think next time, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I need to get it darker. I need to be in a darker place, but I don't want to completely take the eggs out of the van. So I don't know, I'll maybe figure something out. But yesterday there was some stuff in those eggs. Every single egg showed something in it. You know, the little air pocket and I think I saw a couple veins in some of the white ones. It's harder to tell in the darker shelled ones, but um, it looked like there was something forming in there. So I'm going to do it again probably tomorrow on day 10. And then after that, I'm not going to do it at all. If at day 10 it looks like maybe there's one or two or whatever that are not developing or they look like they're dead. None of them looked like, um, I guess they call them yokers, where there was nothing in there at all. Um, there was something in each and every one, you know, dark spot, and I don't know if they were veins or not. It's hard to tell. I'm so new to this. But uh, she's still sitting on those eggs, so keeping my fingers crossed. One thing, though, I'm going to have to figure out that uh, the file cabinet, the way that it is, once the chicks hatch, I'm going to have to change that because the chicks aren't going to be able to get out and follow Mama, you know, around to places to, you know, find food and whatnot. So... I was either thinking of taking it out entirely, oh, Papa's up on the hill, <sighs> taking it out entirely or turning it on its side, but I mean, if I took it out, I could rig it up so that um, she could use the, the little uh, chicken um, coop thingy that's in the back there. I'm just going to have to think about it. It really depends on where she feels most comfortable. If I tipped it over, then the chicks could get out. I could just put some fresh bedding down in there. And um, so I'm going to have to think about that. Anyhow, yeah, most of the day I think it's going to be about the chickens looking around at stuff and planning because the, the temperature is going to drop big time. Since the chickens aren't free ranging anymore, the new routine is I go look for greens and bugs. There's a bunch of snails in there. You're not going to be able to see if I'm reaching my hands down in there. There is a ton of worms. They've all gone down below and are hiding all different kinds of worms, mostly earthworms, but plenty of snails and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in the yard. And, um, you know, I've, I've got probably about 150 uh, earthworms in the worm bin now. And I've been giving the other ones I've been finding to the chickens, but these were a couple quality ones. Oh, it's trying to get out. That's a nice big one. So I'm going to add that to the worm bin. Um, I like to, I've, it's got a lot of little ones in it right now, but I want some of the bigger ones so that they can, you know, start laying cocoons. And Cody and Hannah brought me a big tub, tub of them uh, a couple days ago, and I threw those in them. So, yep, I don't know. I may have closer to 200 in there now, so... Wish me luck that these breed so I can have plenty of worms for much games. Okay, pretty chickens. Here's a little bit for you. I could throw a little bit out here too. It's more fun if I spread it out for them. It seems like at any rate. Plus, it gives all of them a chance to get a little bit of something. Yep, there's a worm. Yep, Leghorn got it. Last but not least over here, they absolutely love these greens. They love the snails, too. A little bit more. When I went to go put the worms in the worm bin, I noticed that there was a little tiny egg inside of that little nest that was being built on top of the worm bin in that little box. It was really hard to film because of the lighting and whatnot, but here's a still photo of it. It's kind of pinkish, salmon-y colored. There's little speckles on it, and there's just one egg. Will, will the mama bird come back and lay more, do you think? I don't know. Do you know what it is? What do you think this is, you guys? Is it one of those barn swallows or is it a wren? And this is exciting. I've decided that since there's an egg in there, I am not going to disturb this worm bin anymore. And I don't want to relocate the nest. I don't want to do anything. So I'm going to very carefully put the worms in. I've got some apple slices. I chopped up a potato and I'm just going to throw it in there. And hopefully that's going to be enough food to last until Mama hatches her little whatever that is. 
hard to see because of the lighting, I know, but I've got several pieces of the apple kind of squished down in there, a couple of potatoes. Um, I'm just going to recover it up with this. And this is kind of dry, so I'm going to get a little bit of water and wet the top of this, put the top back on, and not disturb this again. Look at this, you guys. This is that little cedar tree that I had as my Christmas tree. I thought I had killed it, but look at it. It's starting to turn green. It started to turn green. Yay, so I think it's going to live. And if it grows nice and big, it'll kind of shield part of this janky looking shed. So bonus. <laughs> So much with Papa not having a bark. Yeah, you've got quite a bark, don't you? You sweet boy. I can't believe Romeo just let those two hens peck at his comb. He's a very chill rooster, unless there's a hawk around, and then he kind of goes a little bonkers. But So anyhow, um, give me your suggestions on what I should do with that file cabinet nesting box once the chicks, hopefully if chicks hatch. Uh, should I just turn it over? Should I take it out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. And also, let me know what you think that bird was in that little nest, what the little egg is, and whether or not she's going to lay more eggs. This is exciting. I mean, to me, it's very, very exciting. Um, so it's sunny right now. The temperatures are going to drop. It's going to start raining. And then, like I said earlier, it's going to, the temperature is going to get real low. It's going to drop down to 28, I think, this week. So, yeah, I'm going to put plastic over various plants and whatnot. Um, underneath that little, you know, the, the greenhouse that I got going on over there, the beans actually, um, they got a little burnt. Uh, there were some days that were very warm and the sun was very bright. 
and I probably should have lifted that off and, and watered them and whatnot so they got kind of brown and died. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I've got more seeds, so I'll just start them again once this really cold patch leaves. <laughs> and then and hopefully, hopefully this time, this will be the last one. I keep saying that. And then there's another week and <sighs> it drops down or it gets really rainy or something weird like that. Uh, anyhow, you know what, guys? I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. <laughs>